Hello guys, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do a mini reading for the Gemini <clears throat> for love. So this is a mini love forecast for the Gemini for April the 18th to April the 24th. So I'm just going to shuffle and we're going to just <clears throat> ask the spirits. Let's see what we can see for the Gemini for love for um, April 18th through April the 24th. Um, we're going to be looking at a three card spread. So we're going to look at the, the current um, <clears throat> and then the past and then the future. Okay. All right. I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. Okay, so currently, I see the four of coins. So there's a lot of you Geminis holding on to unhealthy relationships. And you're doing it because you fear being alone. And you fear feeling insecure about yourself. And that's not good. You should never just solely be with someone just to make yourself feel better. It just doesn't make any sense. Um That's really all I get out of that card. Um, the ones that are single, there's some of you Geminis out there. And again, this is not going to resonate with everybody, okay? This is a general reading. So, um, I'm sorry. Give me a second. I want to make sure. Hello, everyone. Okay. Sorry, guys. So, I've got kids and everything over here. So, with the um, four of coins, okay? So... Why are you trying to get me to open this? I can't. You can't open that, Jacob. That's not ice cream. Um, Ty, can you get him some juice? Or bring that juice up here? Oh, honey, you almost hurt your foot. Um, sorry about that, guys. I'm going to try to edit that, edit this out. But um, this is a quickie reading. So anyway, the Four of Coins is showing that um, for those of you that are single and not attached to someone that you're probably attached to someone that's not good for you Someone that really isn't uh, giving you the attention that you deserve um, Or it could be that you're holding on to past energies from a past relationship And I do see in the past that this was a good relationship because you got the six of wands So there was really a lot of success in the relationship in the past um, with the way that the cards are laying out, I'm seeing that it's ran with a lot of you Geminis. Whatever the relationship is, it's pretty much ran its course and it's time to let go because neither of you, neither of you are happy in it. And then also um, for some of you, um, you may be separated from someone who... Um, you are balanced with but they're just not treating you right and so in the past maybe they did and maybe you're feeling you know kind of off about that situation but it, it, I think it's not that this person doesn't care about you it's just that that's just where they are in their life now in the future I did get the ace of pentacles so that does show that you're going to start over there's going to be a fresh start um, for some of you, this can mean um, the new beginning of a relationship. This can mean um, the new beginning of your current relationship. So you and your partner are going to go through um, this like metamorphosis or whatever. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. And that is so beautiful to have a new beginning. Um, and it's a very, very positive card. Um, and it, it means that next week is going to be okay. And I don't see it as being a bad thing. Like all three of these cards are really good energies. And so you're destined for a major gain. And it might be financially as well. But as far as this being a love reading you know love is love is based upon our emotions so you're going to get an emotional gain uh, which means that some of you gemini's are going to meet somebody um and some of you are going to get back with with or just your relationship is going to go to a new level and it's going to rise to new heights you know what i mean um so if you want a personalized reading check me out on my website 
Um, it's in the video description box, and I'll check you guys next week. Bye.